Abandoned buildings, no people, eerie silence. Yep, creep central. Uh, speaking of eerie silence, is Tez still with us? Huh? Tez, stay alert and stay close. You're here in place of the Buster crew, so you've got to be a team player. Mm. My mission is to find an unguarded entrance to the Red Sentient Planet not to participate in team-building exercises. He's right, guys. A secret route to the Red Planet would be a major score for us, even though we seem to be taking the long way around. However long it takes, Sage thinks we should investigate Tez's hunch. I am a mathematician, not a clairvoyant. I do not have hunches. We'll probably no room in your car for a hunch, what with your ego crammed in there and all. Quiet, Stanford. You're interfering with my EMF scan. You see, when I was on the Red Sentient Moon, I installed electromagnetic beacons. I programmed them to send out signals which I am now tracking. And this one is especially strong, as my calculations predicted. This way to the Red Sentient planet. Tez, wait up! Sage, Tez thinks he's found a path to Kritus' back door. We need you to open a portal. Affirmative. Remotely programming battle key now. <laughs> Oh, it stinks here. Uh, a jungle? If we're where I think we are, just call me Monkey Boy. Really? Huh? Vandals at 10 o'clock! <laughs> we're on Vandal? I hate this planet! Sentient planet, Tez! Apparently, an anomaly threw off my calculations. What's the difference between an anomaly threw off my calculations and I made a mistake? Uh, 20 letters, mathematically speaking. Hey, math guy! Two plus two equals too many vandals! Give us a hand! Soon, I must observe these fascinating creatures. They are so primitive, yet they can navigate vehicles. We got a runner, and he's running straight to Callus. Tez, maybe if you joined the fight, that Vandal wouldn't have escaped. Perhaps, but there is no way to prove that theory statistically. Yeah, you know what? I got a theory. You're not smart enough to admit you screwed up. Cool down, Zoom. We gotta get out of here before Callus shows. Tez, why are you shutting down? I am not leaving. There is something I have to do. 
No, dude! Just go behind a rock! Something in this area is giving off a signal that mimics my red sentient moon beacons. I cannot leave until I discover the source. Come on. Tez is right. Three words I so hate hearing. If he solves the puzzle, it could give us a secret route to the red sentient planet and a huge strategic advantage. Obviously. Uh... You three retrace your portal steps back to Earth. I'll stay here with Tez. I do not need your assistance. Tough. This is Battle Force 5, and no one gets left behind. Yeah. Right. Which means you gotta watch Bert's back too. It's not just about you. I am well versed in the dynamics of Battlefield support strategy. I am also busy analyzing data. <laughs> So much for watching my back. The subspecies trespassing on the plain of Calderas? We must destroy them before they discover our secret. Prepare for battle! Are you sure that signal's coming from down here? Electromagnetism does not lie. Right, it just conveniently anomalies. <laughs> Check it out. So this is where the Vandal vehicles are built, by those remarkable engineers. You Karamados not work fast enough. Those engineers look more like slaves. Whatever they are, they're executing remarkably precise machine work in primitive working conditions. And their tools are rudimentary, yet effective. You seem impressed. Curious would be a better word. Of course. The frequency of their molecular bonding equipment is the same as the signal from my beacons. Which means? None of this was my fault, as I said. Now, to confirm my theory, I warn Karamanos. Work faster. Did you see what that beast did to the engineer? Still think those vandals are fascinating creatures? It was unwarranted. That's his way of saying, it's on! Engineering genius. Huh? Thanks. Um, show's over, guys. We're just about to leave. Your love is ingenious. Yes, it is. I mean, thank you. I simply combined my glove theory with nanotechnology to create a micromagnetic multi-directional field. Fantastic! 
I am Trump. I am Tez. Tez. And his name is Vert, but he prefers Monkey Boy. Monkey Boy! Uh, actually, no, it's, it's not... Never mind. Tez, Callus has got to be on his way. We better book. Please, Tez, allow us to thank you for freeing us from our captors. Most kind, Trump. But we're in a bit of a hurry and... Uh... Uh, we noticed your assistance vehicle is damaged. It will not take long to repair it. Okay, I, I guess. Where are your manners, monkey boy? Say thank you. The subspecies must have learned of our hidden factory and have come to destroy it. <laughs> They mean to free the Caramanos. No, oh, not good. The Caramanos are many, and slaves have long memories. Huh. Those brainy mechanics are far too easily cowed to ever challenge my power. Especially after I destroy the subspecies before their eyes. The Vandals kidnapped us and forced us into slavery. We have a home to return to. But my people need a leader. They are workers, not warriors. You, however, are both warrior and scientist. Will you lead us, Tez? I know your homeland. I have seen it. And you will see it again. Tez, we're about to get vandalized. Callus and crew are almost here. And I don't think it's for a company picnic. We gotta get back to Earth, now. Leave? And who would protect the Karamanos? They need our help. We stay. Stay? Don't you get it? We're outnumbered. We have to go, now. I will not leave these brilliant souls to a bunch of slobbering mutants. <sighs> what about the Battle Force 5 code? No one gets left behind? Are the Karamanos no one? Mm, point taken. We're staying. Our only chance of surviving is if you Karamanos join us in battle. Do you understand? We have lived as captives too long! We will fight for our freedom! Freedom! From now on, he is in charge. And please, call me Vert. Commander Monkey Boy doesn't cut it. But, Tess, are you not our leader? I have sworn to help you, but Vert is the superior warrior. When I haven't followed his orders, I have regretted it. Trust me, this is your best path home. Awaiting your orders, Captain Bert. I have a plan. This battle should be brief and satisfying. Hmm. Never underestimate the enemy. Show no mercy. Attack! Trump, better get to your station. You ready to do this? My calculations are complete. They are flawless. Let's hope your plan is too. Hm. 
Why would they attack when they are clearly outnumbered? Because they are fools, Captain. Hmm. Not in our past encounters. Taking the bait. This way, kitty cat. We've got them on the run. Isolate and destroy them. Watch the Caramanos insurrection instantly vanish. Complete your weaponry. We're almost there. Emphasis on almost. The fusing process is wearing off. Buy us some time, Tess. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> they have nowhere to run. Another comrade in sight. Perhaps they are fools after all, Captain Gallant. <laughs> hmm. Fools, cowards, heroes. They'll soon cease to be anything. Fire at will! Everything! <laughs> Now! Captain Callus, it's a Caramanos ambush! Huh? Caramanos? What are you babbling about? and they prove themselves weaklings. Our Wi-Fi controller is working perfectly. Yes, though it is hard to control the urge to repeatedly test it. No! Stop! No! Stop! 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 So 
these creatures have found a leader, but not for long. Uh oh. <laughs> We gotta get everybody out of here, before Kallus regroups and attacks again. Come with me. I will get you home. We can never thank you enough for what you've done for us. You're welcome, Trump. But it was Tez's idea to stay and help you. Really, he deserves your gratitude. True. Though you helped some, monkey boy. Uh, Vert? But as a fellow scientist, Tez, one thing puzzles me. Why did you put yourself at risk for us? It seems... irrational. Yeah, Tez, why? Tell Trump how you feel about the Karamanos. I feel that... Uh, it's time for us to go. I have a multiverse map to complete. That's Tez for... I'm really gonna miss you guys. See ya.